All right, we're going to finish up here, and I would like you to recall what we've done so far. We've made this table. Uh, we have created a, uh, uh, several columns and several rows. We've created uh, table headers. We've created a call span at the top to make this. We've taken the first two rows and created a T head, and the rest have a, uh, a T body right here. We don't have a T foot, but we could if we wanted to. We've used the first child and the last child to give individual styling to different rows. We used a first child also to give styling uh, to this one column, even though these are completely, uh, you know, separated. And uh, we've, we've uh, done various stylings with this, including uh, giving some padding, giving uh, font uh, sizes and font styles. So let's see if we can finish it up and learn a little bit more about those pseudo elements. But first, let's see if we can't clean things up a little bit. For example, I would like to have the first two rows to be the same font. Now, as you might recall before, we set the font uh, right here in the T head, TR, last child. Now, if we want the font family, Sinzel, to apply to the entire head, then we don't really need this last child. I can take this and I can just put it into the T head like that. So now the font family is in the T head and it should affect both rows. So I can get rid of the last child. I, I made this so that you could see what a last child would do. And uh, so let's see what effect that has. It should have the effect of making the top line in the Sinzel font as well. And that's what we've got. So now I'd like to add a couple more things. If you recall uh, from the example, uh, we want to have the first two lines have the blue background and the white text. So we're going to go in. And again, that's all in the T head, so we can continue with that. So I'm just going to put a uh, background color. And we're going to have the color here of uh, something that's very dark. Let's say uh, sharp 00, 00, 00, 99. And then give the, uh, the font color, which actually should just be color. And I could make it just a little bit off-white, but let's just keep it simple and let's just make that white. And just for emphasis, I would like to make a text shadow. Now the text shadow will be actually kind of hard to see against the dark blue background, but it will add a little bit of an effect. So I'm going to put it uh, two pixels down and two pixels to the right and have just one pixel of blur. And then I'm not going to have any RGBA. I want this to be as dark as I can get it. So that'll be black. So all of this is in the T head. So that should affect both the first two rows. And if I reload, that's exactly what's happened. Now you might notice that there is a line going through it. And that's not something that we wanted. If you take a look at the example, that line is not there. So the question is, where is that line coming from? Well, the reason why we have that line is because we said before uh, that the TD would have a border, which is one pixel solid and uh, that color. Well, that very first line right here, that's a TD. So if we want to specify that this TD is not included, we can do that by saying that this TD will only be in the T body. So that means that only the TDs, uh, which are in this lower area, those will have that border. But this TD, this one that spans over four columns, that's not going to have a border. And if I, uh, if I save it and then I reload, you can see that that's exactly what's happened. We've gotten rid of that line because now only these TDs have the border. All right, let's see what else we can do. Well, now that we're uh, changing the, uh, the TDs only in the T body, let's add a few things as well. I'd like to make those, uh, those taller. Right now, you can see that some of these are one line and some of these are two lines. I would like to make all of these rows the same height. 
So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to say in the uh, T body TD, that is to say all of the cells in the T body, uh, we're going to have a standard height. And that height will be 50 pixels. So let's see if that works. Excuse me. And sure enough, that works just fine. As a matter of fact, it's a little bit too much. Let's try 40 pixels and see what happens. That's a little bit better. That means that uh, we have a little bit of space on the top and the bottom, uh, but that should be fine. All right, so now what else are we going to do? Uh, we're also going to add uh, some vertical alignment because I don't want these centered uh, from the top to the bottom. I would like them actually uh, to be at the top of each cell. So there's something I can use called vertical align and I can say I want these to be at the top. So vertical alignment top will give me all of these along the top just like that. So now we're getting a little bit better but I'd also like these to be further away from the from the borders. Notice how close the text is to the border and that's never a good thing. You always want to have the text a certain distance away from that border. So let's add some padding here and just a little bit of padding to the top and the bottom and then a little bit more to the sides. So that'll be two pixels at the top and bottom and six pixels on the left and the right. And let's see how that looks. That looks somewhat better. All right. So now we're getting there. Uh, I would still like to do one more thing, and that is I'd like to have all of these rows be different colors. So there's a couple different ways that we can do this. Uh, but let's start out with the very basic one. And let's go down just to the last line here. Now we want this only to be in the T-body. So we're going to start with T-body. But we want this to affect table rows because we'd like all of the rows to have a different color. Let's take a look at the finished uh, effect. And so you can see what I'm talking about, red, white, and blue. Uh, but let's start out a little bit more simply. So we're going to have T-body and TR. That means all of the, uh, of the TRs in the T-body will be affected. But I don't want all of them to be affected. I just want some of them to be affected. Well, what I can do is I can use something called nth uh, of type. Now I could use nth of ch nth child, but uh, nth, I'd like to use nth of type so you can see what it's about. Now the nth of type, the nth means a certain number. Now if I just say, for example, 3, like that, let's see what effect that has. And I'm just going to say uh, uh, background uh, color. And let's just make it uh, pink so we can see very quickly what that looks like. So this is going to be the third TR within the T-body. So let's save that. Let's go back to the table we're working on. And let's reload. And sure enough, one, two, three, the third one is now pink. All right. Now, actually, we'd like it to be, uh, uh, you know, to be every uh, other one. So I don't want it to be actually just the third one. I want it to be the first and the third and the, um, and the fifth. So I'm going to put odd in here. That means every odd numbered table row is going to have that color. Number one, number three, number five, number seven. So I'm going to do that. And now when we reload, we can see that we have the alternating colors. Now I can do the same thing. For the even, I can say t body, tr, uh, nth uh, of type, and I can say even, and then for that one, I can say that the background color will be light blue. So now we have the odd rows being pink and the even rows being light blue, and if we check it out, that's what it looks like. Now, the American colors are red, white, and blue. So, hmm, maybe these won't work. Maybe we would like to have every third row be a color. We'd like to have um, the first row be, be red, the second row be white, the third row be blue, and then red, white, blue, red, white, blue. 
Now we can't handle that in the normal way because uh, we've got odd and even. There is nothing that says every third, but we can use a special formula. We can say that uh, that is going to be every three rows, every third number is going to be that color, and we're going to start uh, with the pink on the first row. That is to say, this number right here means where we're starting, the first table row in the T-body, and then it's going to be every third row after that. That's what the 3n plus 1 means. So for the blue, we want it also to be every third row, but we want the blue to start on the third row. So that's the way we can do it. We can say 3n means every third row, and then we start on the first for the pink, and we start on the third for the blue. And if we do that, we'll see that we get exactly what we wanted. Red, white, blue, red, white, blue, red, white, blue, and it keeps on going all the way down. So you can see that you can really have a lot of power in uh, choosing which rows or uh, even which columns have which other col which, uh, whichever column, whichever colors or styling that you want. So all of that is possible. Uh, so now I'd like to make some hover activity. So I'm gonna. So th this is actually kind of interesting because we can use both a pseudo class and a pseudo element. So I'm going to begin with T body and T R. Now this is going to be the nth uh, of type, and it's going to be the three n plus one. But then I'm also going to add another colon, and I'm going to say hover. So basically, this is going to be the same as this one right here, except only when my cursor is floating above it. So we're going to give it a different color, let's say background uh, color, and let's give it a slightly deeper color. Uh, now, in order to control this, uh, let's try to make these uh, a little bit more, uh, a little bit more, um, exact. So I'm going to say, instead of pink, I'm going to say F, F, E, 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 and then make that color a little bit deeper when we mouse over it. So I'm going to say F, F, and then probably C, 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 C. And let's see what happens when we save this and we reload. Um, now you can see my color just got a lot lighter, probably too light. I'll have to fix that. But now you can see when I mouse over those red rows, they become a darker red. So I'm going to try to uh, get a, um, a better color difference on that. Uh, let's try, um, let's say, uh, let's go with FF, uh, CC, CC. Let's make them brighter. Let's go from the darker to the brighter, just like that. And let's see what that has an effect. There we go. So that's a better starting color. And when I mouse over, it gets brighter, just like that. Okay, now I'm going to make one for the white rows. Now you'll notice that I didn't make uh, a T body TR nth of type for the white row, but I don't need to. I can just make the tub the the hover. So I'm going to say T body TR uh, nth of type, and that's going to be three n plus two. That's starting in row two, and that's going to be a hover. And I'm just going to say background color, and that's going to be white. And let's see what that looks like. So reload, and here we go. There, there's the the pink turning to a lighter pink. There's the white turning white. The actually the that's the first we have the background color, which is a slight gray, and then when we, we mouse over, we get the white. So I'm going to do the same thing for the blue. I'm going to cheat a little bit here. Uh, and I'm going to copy and paste. So the light blue, let's make that one um, CCCCFF. And then when we uh, hover over that, then we're going to change that to uh, EEEEFF. And we're going to see how that affects things. And whoops, apparently I made it purple by mistake. Let's see if I can't uh, fix that a little bit. Um, what did I do here? Uh, that's the third one, and I said CC. Oh, that's oh, I see what I did. I put uh, too many colons in there, so let me get rid of that. That'll probably fix it. 
No, no, it's still the still the same purple. Well, I can fix that in time, but you get the idea. Um, let me just uh, try very, very quickly. Let's make a DD right there, see if that makes it a little bit more blue. There we go. There is our blue. All right. So now we've got all of that uh, flashing going on when we're mousing over. It's not exactly the same as the one that I did before. I think actually the one that we did right now looks a little bit better. But as you can see, it's very, very close. The only thing I haven't done yet is that I haven't given the font to the T-body. So I want this to be in every single uh, T-body uh, row. So I'm just going to say T-body, and I'm going to say font family. And this one is going to be Roboto, and that's going to be Sans Serif. And that should change the font for us. This is the one that we're working on, and there we go. All right. Uh, so that is effectively it. I will make one more video later on showing you how to get that mouse over trick for the Chicago to bring up a little uh, colored picture. That's a special trick. It's not really about tables. Uh, so I'll do that a little bit later on. But these videos that we've done so far should show you how to create um, all the effects you need for uh, special styling on a table. So again, go ahead and see if you can do as much of this as you can using your own file.